tetrahedron. Um, each one has three struts coming to a point. On the octahedron, four struts come together at each point. The dodecahedron we're making is going to have five struts coming together. We need 30 struts. Okay, I've already put the, the holes in these. So, and the holes are put on each end about a quarter inch from, from the end. Yeah. Okay, so we've got five in. I'm going to squeeze them a bit and spread out the, the sides of the bread tip. Okay. For the next step, we're going to take one of these ends and take four free struts and attach them to this. So now what we have looks a little bit, yeah, like two starfish with they're sharing a sharing an arm. Now we're going to take two adjacent ones, put them together. Okay, again with the brad heads on the same side. And then we're going to add the three, three free ones. So you can see this, this starting to take shape. You may be able to figure out the next step is to take these two together. Okay. And put three more free struts in. I'll pull it a little further away and you'll see what's happening. Now I'll give you a little hook in to, to see you understand what's going on triangle triangle here with this base triangle here with this base triangle here with this base a triangle here that we haven't yet formed with this base and then another triangle here now so we're going to end up with a an additional strut here once we get this in and then this uh this connection put together it should be a lot more obvious what's happening and uh, make it easier to sort of anticipate what the next steps will be. Okay. Now, this next one is going to be the one that sort of creates the 3D. You know, up until now, we've been working in a plane, sort of. This is all pretty much in the same plane. Now, once we pull these two together, now we're starting to build a, a, a volume. Okay, so we're gonna put these three together, bing, bang, boom, with two free struts. Okay, so now you can see that we're developing a volume. Okay, uh, you might be able to anticipate some of these moves. Next one's gonna be, uh, we're gonna be putting these two together. Um, you're gonna see the volume increasingly more apparent as we get along. So, next one is right here, here, and three free ones. Okay, so you can see the, the, the volume taking shape. Now, the next one may not be as obvious to you, but okay, think about this one. You have one, two, three, you have five arms. You have a triangle that will be together once you put these two struts, connect these two struts. So you have a triangle one, triangle two, triangle three, triangle four, triangle five, which is not as apparent, but it happens when you put these together. Okay, you can see we got a, a five here. We got a five here. We're going to keep going with this. These three together, that'll create a triangle. But this one also comes in. So that's this is the first time we have four struts coming in that are already on here. Okay, next one two three and if i did this calculation right i have no free struts <laughs> four and we'll see a beautiful thing in a second Okay. 
And one of the tough things about doing the, the, the brad heads so that they, they're exposed to the outside is if you get that last, that last one, it's kind of far away from your, <laughs> you have to be a gymnast to try to get to the, uh, the last one. Okay. So there is a dodecahedron of equilateral triangles.